What's up everyone? Before I get into it, we have an announcement. From now on, we've got Perf Dog helping us out with measuring performance for this and all our future mobile gaming videos, so thank you Perf Dog. Today, we've got the CMF by Nothing Phone 1. This is Nothing's newest venture and has a lot of customizability with their aesthetics. We're going to be putting it through our gaming gauntlet of Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Warzone, and PUBG Mobile. Performance-wise, the CMF Phone 1 that we have is running the MediaTek Dimensity 7300 5G for its processor, a Mali G. G615MT2 for its GPU, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, and everything plays out on a 6.67 inch Super AMOLED 120Hz HDR10 Plus display, and it has a 5000 mAh battery. Before I run the test, let's do a baseline of the temperatures of the front and back of the phone. The Perf Dock application will also be running temperature checks on its own as we game, so we'll have a much more accurate read on what this phone goes through. And the back over here, it's like a nice little plastic back. We're looking at 26, kind of below the usual, which is nice. And we're also currently at 99% battery. Let's check the front. 26, 27. All right. Nothing out of the ordinary. So let's hook this up to Perf Dog, and we'll start with our first game, Honkai Star Rail. We are on Honkai Star Rail right now, and the phone is connected to a laptop that's running Perf Dog, so we're getting real-time stats on this thing. And currently, this is running at 32 FPS, and let's check our settings real quick. I believe I set everything on very high. The default for this phone was actually high. So even on 60 FPS, we're still getting, I mean, it's obviously 60 because we're in menus, Let's just go back and just see how this works like. Obviously 60 wouldn't really be worth it on very high. So let's let's bring it down a notch. Okay, so we set everything to high because very high was giving readings that weren't exactly that promising. So we set it to high, 60 FPS, and everything else is on high as well. And so far we are reading about 46-ish FPS, kind of bordering 50. So high for this phone isn't too bad. Let's just check out our model real quick. I mean, it looks very good even at this graphical setting. It's not the highest, of course, but the thing is like, it looks decent enough and you'll get your gameplay. But let's see how this tracks in combat. All right, so while we're here, let's just switch up the characters real quick. No frame rate drops, nothing. A little bit of stuttering, but not much. I'm guessing that little graph down there for the stuttering was in between the loading screen, but besides that, I think we're doing pretty okay. Very nice, welcome. Evil doer. Nice, okay. So, so far, the transition from the open world to combat feels pretty smooth. I'm going to try that again and see where that tracks. Blue. Yeah, that's actually a lot smoother than I thought it would on? be. 42, 39. Yes. Alright, and let's go for this. And they're done. I think lowest I've seen is about 39-ish FPS. Usually, usually it's around like 40-ish FPS. So you will see some drops here and there. But they don't look major enough. But they don't look major enough to... Okay, but the drops don't look major enough to, you know, be any sort of like form of serious confirm. To be... Oh, fool. Like, like the drops are there, but the thing is like, I don't think it's anything cause of concern, especially on this phone. It's not even a gaming phone. But oh yeah, and there's a gamer that comes on for this thing, so it's quite interesting that he has that. Oh! Yeah, that was, that was a big dip over there. That was a very big dip. That was like, how much was that? 23 FPS, that's the biggest drop so far. Alright, here we go. Very nice. Alright, well the flashy all piece, let's go. Very nice. Ooh, a little drop there. Quite a sharp draw. Beautiful. Ooh, okay. You're hitting the you're hitting below 30 right now. Get a shield up before we take any damage. We are dropping quite a bit. Japar's ulti does drop frame rates like a fly sometimes. Okay, we're good. Break that. There we go. Nice, that's done. Alright, come on. Let's get this ulti. 
There we go. In the name of Lenda. Let's go. All of them. Of right, let's see that. We shall never fall. All right, we're kind of smooth. Kind of. What are you waiting for? All right, here we go. And for me to betray the king, well, you got to make it worth my while. Nice. All right, I probably should have activated for first, first, but you know what? Never mind. It's okay. Crush them. All will be revealed. All right, and let's take out Ray Boy first. Bang, bang. We're just having fun. <laughs> All right, just a bit more. And we should be good. There we go. All right. So with that, let's check our temperatures real quick. 34-ish, pretty impressive also given that, you know, this thing, again, it's, it's not an expensive phone. It's not an expensive gaming phone, but, but we're getting really good readings out of this. Wow. Not bad. CMF. Anything? Not bad. Let's check the back. 34, 34.5. Alright. 41, this is where it's heating up the most. That's where the chip is at. So you see 40.4. Nothing going above 40. But yeah, not too bad. The rest of it, the phone is cool. Honestly, it's just this one part here. So yeah, wow. Impressive phone so far. With that, let's get into our next game, Genshin Impact. All right, so before we start with Honkai, Honkai Star, before we start with Genshin Impact, let's check temperatures real quick. We are hot off the heels and it has gone down quite a bit. We are 30-ish, 30 30.9, 30.1, 30.4, 30.9, 32-ish degrees right now at the front. Nothing too drastic. Here's where the chip is at. And at the back, All right, and, <clears throat> and this is how the back is doing, 30.2, 30 30.8, nothing too drastic. The top here where the chip is at, this is looking to, okay, 32-ish. All right, nothing out of the ordinary. Let's just get on with the game. All right, so now that we're in game, things are looking all right. Uh, 47, 48-ish FPS from the get-go. Let's check settings real quick. Graphics and I believe I set everything to the highest. We're on 60 FPS and everything is on high. So, all right, let's look looking around here. Things are looking pretty all right. And character models are looking very good. It's just that we are not really hitting 60 FPS with this thing. Obviously, we will need to bring it down a bit more, but we'll see how it fares after we walk, run through the village. And let's move around a little bit. No huge frame starting whatsoever. It's been, it's quite smooth. We're switching characters. And all right, let's run through Inazuma City. Kind of a ish, kind of frame rate drop, 37-ish. We're now down 40 as we're running through the city. 39, hovering in 40 to 30-ish. High 30s at least. Oh, now we're in mid 30s, 36. It's getting, oh, we're going on 32, all right. Okay, he's going up back to 35, 37. So I, I think this, so I think this phone, it can handle these games pretty all right. It's just that you just need to optimize them for gameplay even better, but we'll just keep with this thing for now, unless it gets really bad and then we'll drop it down a notch. But so far, so good. I think the lowest I saw just now was like 32. You know, the more denser parts of the map. So let's just get into some combat and exploration. So far, so good. I mean, we're still hovering around 40-ish FPS to about the most drastic ones, about uh, 30. But, oh, yep, we've dropped to 37. And now let's climb up here. Let's get some stamina back. All right.
All right, let's go defeat that ruin giant. The ruin god. I mean. Okay. All right. I know King Kong right now isn't exactly the best, but we shall do what we can. Oh, I forgot about that. Spinny, spinny, spinny. What are the iframes of this thing? It's been a while. Mm -hmm. The glass. Nope. Oh, okay, that wasn't very smart. That wasn't very smart either. I was looking away. Oh, here comes the rockets. I can still remember that. Yeah, let's get back in. Alright, let's go find Alti and see how that works out. Oh! That's beautiful. Very smooth. Ooh, okay. That is, that's so good. It's a good size, obviously. Oh, okay, well, wait, okay, let's line them up and then just whip. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, we can go again, I believe. There you go. That is satisfying. Press the wrong button, but it is okay. Let's just come set the lot. Let's thing. Let's one down. Alright, that is... That is finished. Alright, doing some good so far. Alfie once again. But also, let's change it up. Oh, there's someone inside. Okay, that's fine. Ring one. Let's go, Xiao. All right, blades. Everybody stand Go, one more thing. All right, comes out the wall. And that is done. All right, so with that, let's check temperatures real quick. 41, 40, 39.5, 3635, all right. Doing okay, obviously the top part here will be a lot warmer because the chip is over there. All right, so 41.2, 41.5, we're doing pretty okay. Let's check the back. And as we go down, obviously, we'll get much, much cooler. So, yeah, honestly, very good job. See you next time. Very good job, nothing like this is for the price of this phone. For the price of this phone, this thing is doing a lot better than I expected. Damn. And before we get into the next game, this message is brought to you by Secret Lab. Here at Geek Culture, Secret Lab is our everyday ergonomic buddy. Whether you're working, playing, or taking a quick nap, we feel less aches and more refreshed, even after sitting for long hours. Secret Lab provides ergonomic support literally from head to toe, from dynamic lumbar support to their proprietary medium from cushioning, and even premium footrest that promote circulation. That's good for you. For more information, check out secretlab.co. Before we start Warzone, let's check our temperatures. We just finished up with Genshin Impact, and it's looking pretty all right. This phone does cool down a lot faster than most phones priced at this range. So doing very well so far. Let's check the back. 32, 31, looking pretty good. Looking very good actually. Mm -hmm. Nothing too insane. And even the top part has cooled down quite a bit. I mean, quite drastically in just a few moments. Not too bad. All right. So let's attach the backbone. All right, so we're in Call of Duty Warzone right now. We are measuring FPS through the Perf Dog Wi-Fi option because this thing doesn't allow for that. The USB-C port is strictly for charging, so we'll just run with what we have. And let's just check our graphics real quick. We can only go on low. We are kind of running at about 30-ish FPS. So let's see how that goes when we get into a match. Far so good. No huge favorite drops and for so, anyway, we're kind of doing A-OK -okay actually. It's kind of getting 60 FPS at our current settings, which honestly, even though they're at low, 
you're gonna have a much better time looking at it, playing smoothly than, you know, having fancy graphics but being unable to play it. Pretty smooth. I really haven't seen any like major finger drop for her. Oh, that, that would have been great, but yeah. So far, I'm looking at it right now as I'm playing this thing. As I'm firing, the frame rate is still at a constant at 55. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Where is that grenade? Didn't despawn. Alright, let's get a credit. Let's get a credit and it's all down as well. There we go. Very nice. Oh. oh my god, that's a beautiful kill feed. So far, so good, and we are dropping on, on yep, this is fine. Okay, right, right, that's, I can't break that. Damn it, okay, let's go. Got mad dudes all around. No, 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 friend, 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 friend. Friend, 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 friend. I'm down. Never mind. Good luck time. Let's right, go. Cool. Okay. All right. No oh, friend. Oh my God! We got guests. Okay, yeah, that, that, that was a definite loss. There's no way I was gonna do that. Top part here, 37. Honestly, that's a lot, a lot cooler than I thought it would be. I thought it hit 40 like Genshin and Honkai, but hmm, surprising. Now let's check some more. 36, 35, 33, 34, 33, 33. Right, doing a okay. Not too bad. Nothing too crazy. We are looking at 35, 28. The top here is what 37, 38-ish. And let's move down. 34, 33.32, 33, 34. Yeah, nothing crazy, honestly. It's a lot lower than I expected, and that's a good thing. So I think with that, we can get to our final game, PUBG Mobile. Okay, so we're on to our last game, PUBG Mobile. Let's just check temperatures before we start. Things are going back to normal. All right, 31. All right, nothing too crazy. Of course, it's going to get lower at the bottom over here. Top as well, top is doing A-OK, -okay. like 31-ish. Plastic, hard plastic kind of covering, but it's matte, so it's really nice and smooth. It's got a little bit of texture as well. All right, back same as the, the back is same as the front, 31.9. All right, nothing too crazy. Okay, and just to reiterate the note, we are just focusing on FPS counts for this one, so, with that, let's just get into PUBG Mobile. All right, let's, now that we're in PUBG, let's just check our settings real quick. And things are looking too good. They're like 25-ish FPS, 30-ish FPS. So let's check settings. These are kind of stabilizing still. All right, so we can't go to Ultra HDR. HDR is the only one we can go through. We have at least ultra frame rate, uh, for times anti-aliasing and everything else looks good to go. So with that, let me just check controls and then we'll get into a game. All right, let's go. So far, so good. No huge frame rate drops. It's still staying at 40. Very nice. All right, let's get into the middle of the city. So weave it. And now straight down. Mm. 
nice. Only thing is that the speakers are on the side. There's only like one speaker, I believe. So you just gotta be mindful of that. You got guys on that side. Not exactly a great sign. But it'll be fun to get early kills. Okay, cool this. Yes. Okay, I see him. That was close. I can't cover you, man. Come on. There we go. He's down. Not exactly the best time to be healing, but I don't have much of a choice. Nicely done. Should be doing okay. Oh crap, y'all be honest. Nice, got him. Down. Oh, okay, I see him. Mark the location. Die. I am wasting my rounds. Come on. Get him. There we go. Nicely done. Let's see, 35.8, 35.9, 36.7. That's the highest we got around here. That's where the chip is at. And I'll just say that, same with by nothing, the phone one, this thing has really outdone my expectations. I was expecting a lot worse actually, but this thing is very decent for its price range and for its specs. It's, it's oh, this is well done, all right? Especially with like the way heat dissipates on the device this thing really does the job and it does it well check the back same thing as the front around here and we'll see the 36s all right let's keep going and yeah everything's pretty okay yep okay so with that let's just get to our final thoughts the CMF by Nothing Phone 1 is really surprising. At an affordable price and with an interesting cosmetic system, it's truly a phone worth taking a look at and trying out. Of course, with its current specs, it can't play the likes of Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, and Card Warzone at the highest settings, but it plays out relatively smoother than majority of phones in its price range and even those that go for much more. PUBG Mobile played like a dream, especially with its comfortable size and good sound, though you'd still be better off pairing it up with earbuds. So would you be getting the CMF Phone 1 let me know in the comment section below. Leave your questions there as well if you do have any and we'll do our best to get to them. If you like what we do, make sure to follow us on all of our socials right here and maybe leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way. If you want to see more stuff, check this out.